Old Testament heroes. Job, God gives and takes away. Today's verse is Job 121b. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job is a righteous man. He does what's right, and God has blessed him. He has 10 kids, 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 pair of oxen, donkeys, servants, you name it, he's got it. He loves God and follows God's rules. Then suddenly we find ourselves at a meeting called by God. In heaven? It doesn't say, maybe, but guess who shows up at the meeting? Abraham Lincoln? Nope, Satan. And God says, look at Job. He respects me and does what's right. And Satan says, he only respects you because you've blessed him. Take away his stuff and he'll curse you to your face. Scene change back to Job. A bunch of bandits come and take all the oxen and donkeys. Then fire comes from the sky and burns up all the sheep. Then more bandits come and take the camels. Then a windstorm knocks down the house where his kids were, and they all die. Oh no, what did he do? Well, he was really sad. He ripped his robes and sat down in the dirt. But then he said, the Lord gave me all that stuff, and he can take it away. Blessed is the name of the Lord. That's quite an impressive response. Yes, it is. Job was going to respect God no matter what. Scene change. Another meeting in heaven or wherever. Satan says, okay, but he's still healthy. Take away his good health and then he'll curse you to your face. So back to Job, who suddenly finds himself covered with sores from head to foot. They really hurt, and Job is miserable. Job's wife comes by, takes one look at him, and says, You should just curse God and die. That's not a very nice thing to say to your husband. Curse God and die? No, it wasn't. It looks like the accuser is right, that we only respect God when he gives us what we want. But Job says his wife is speaking foolishly, and he won't curse God. Then three friends show up who've heard about Job's terrible state. They sit quietly with him for seven days. Then they start talking. Obviously, these terrible things have happened to you because you've done something terrible. Tell us what you've done. But Job says, I've been good. I've been following God. And the friends get a little cranky and say, bad things are punishment. If you want your stuff back, you need to stop being bad. And Job gets a little cranky and says, I told you I've been good. I don't know why God let these bad things happen to me. And Job's friends get even more cranky and say, not only have you done terrible things, but you are proud and won't admit it. You deserve all these terrible things. And Job gets mad and says, you are terrible friends saying I've done terrible things. God, why don't you defend me? It's not fair. And as they're arguing, a whirlwind shows up. What's a whirlwind? It's like a small tornado. Oh, interesting. And a voice comes out of the whirlwind, and the voice belongs to... Abraham Lincoln. What's the thing with Abraham Lincoln today? Best president we ever had. Sorry for the interruption. The voice belongs to God. Does he explain why everything bad happened? About the meetings in heaven? Or wherever? No, he doesn't. He says, who's asking questions about whether I'm doing the right thing or not? Like I have no wisdom? Like I don't know about justice? I created the world. I control the seas. I rule over all of creation with wisdom that you cannot always understand. Do you know everything that's going on right now to say that I'm being unfair? <coughs> what did Job do? He put his hand over his mouth. He knew he had spoken of things he did not understand. He realized that God was just and wise and could be trusted even when bad things happened. Then God turned to the so-called friends and told them they were wrong. Terrible things happening to Job did not mean Job had done terrible things. There's more going on than we can see. And God restored Job's health and gave him more kids and more camels, sheep, oxen, and donkeys than he'd ever had before. And Job kept on trusting God and being faithful to him. 
even when life was hard to understand. Let's review today's verse. Job 121b The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's talk. What did we learn? Job kept trusting God, even when he didn't understand what God was doing. Parents, share a story about when you had to trust God. Let's pray together. Let's pray and ask God to help us believe that He is trustworthy and to trust Him always.